Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at did it hurt memes? So yeah, let's just get right into the video. Did it hurt when you realize 2022 is just 121 days away and you're still processing 2019, which is about to be three years ago. We basically just skipped two years, honestly. That's what I felt like. I just feel like I skipped two years of my life. Like, I don't even know what happened in 2020 and 2021. It just flew by so quick. Everyone's just being at home and it just flew by. Oh, 2020 just, mm, everything just went downhill from then on. Did it hurt when you realize the donations you're making at the store are just being used as a way for businesses to avoid paying taxes? Really? I didn't know that. Donations in a store. Taxes. Hmm. Interesting. Did it hurt when you told them your trauma and they added to it? Oh. Oh, that always hurts. When you open up to someone, but then you just realize that was the wrong thing to do. And you shouldn't have opened up and you should have just kept it all in like you always did. <laughs> No, but I do feel like some people, you just can't open up to them because they don't even care. You know, they only care about themselves. So you just need to find someone who you can open up to, honestly. Did it hurt when you saw yourself in the front facing camera? Always. It always hurts. Did it hurt when you left the house and your dog looked sad? No, because I never leave my house. I mean, yes, before it did. It hurt so bad. I think that's one of the downsides of getting a pet is that you just never want to leave the side ever. Did it hurt when you picked the shorter line and it ended up taking longer to get through than the other one? Why does this always happen? You know, the shorter line has like three people and the longer line has like seven people, uh, but then they just go through so fast and you're still stuck. Like that one person in front of you has just bought the entire store, I guess. Did it hurt when you woke up before your alarm and checked the time and you had less than a minute left? Did it hurt? Why do you always wake up before your alarm? I mean, I always wake up before my alarm goes off, you know? And then a part of me is just like, oh my God, did I sleep through my alarm? And then I check the time and it's just like three minutes before. And I still want to squeeze that three minute of sleep in, you know? I just need that little bit. Did it hurt when no one took your feelings seriously and now you can't properly express them because you're scared of causing conflict if you do? <gasps> oh, I feel bad for the people that's experiencing this. I'll take your feelings seriously. Did it hurt when you promised yourself to sleep early tonight and wake up with a productive morning tomorrow but now you are scrolling Twitter reading this? Yes, always. You know, I'd always tell myself, you know, I'm just going to sleep at like 1am. I know 1am is still pretty late for some people, but then I always end up sleeping at like 3 to 4am, which is not good. It's just when you watch a show, you just want to, you know, find out what happens next and then you just keep going and yeah. Yeah, and then you just hear the birds chirping outside. <laughs> You're like, I'm screwed. Did it hurt when you broke into my car thinking my shoes were in the box, but they was on my feet? But honestly though, this is why people always tell you to like not leave anything that's looking valuable in your car because it's more to fix your car window than the thing that they stole. Like this, they literally just broke the car window just to get a freaking box. So this is why if you have anything valuable, just hide it, okay? Don't let people see it through your windows or something. Like, I just feel bad for this person who left their shoe box there. And now they have to pay for the repairs of the car window. That's not very smart of you. <sighs> Did it hurt when you thought you responded and two weeks passed before you realized you had not? I'm so guilty of doing this. Like, I look at the text and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, I respond in like a minute because I'm doing something at the moment. And I thought I responded, but I guess I just responded in my head and then I totally forget about it. And then a week passes and I'm like, wait, how come that person didn't reply to me yet? And then I look at my phone and I realize I haven't replied to them. <sighs> oh, I'm such a bad person. And then you don't know whether you should reply now because a week has passed and 
you don't know what excuse to give, you know, you can't just be like, oh, I forgot, or like, oh, uh, oh, um. So you end up just not replying at all. Yep, that's how you lose friends. <laughs> I'm kidding, I haven't lost friends over this though, surprisingly. Well, I guess it's cause it's never anything that important. It's just like, what's up? Did it hurt when there was a global pandemic and you took a pay cut and worked longer hours and risked your life but people didn't care and refused to get vaccinated and now your only release is these few minutes of sleep before your nightmares are waking you in a cold sweat. People are just selfish, you know, honestly. Honestly, I just feel so bad for the doctors and nurses that have to deal with this. Did it hurt when you were at your lowest and expected some people will check on you but they never did? Oh, that's really sad. My dog checks on me though. She checks on me every single minute. I'm so freaking thankful for that, you know. I'd go somewhere and she'll be looking for me. And I'm just like, oh, you care about me that much. My mom checks on me though. <laughs> that sounds so, sounds so, uh, sounds so weird. Like every time I talk to her, she's just asking if I'm happy or not. And then I'll tell her my problems. And I guess that's how I'm okay. Did it hurt when I told you to Google it and I was right? <laughs> I've won an argument like this before. Yes. Did it hurt when you realized 90% of your adulting would be spent on learning the belief systems you were taught? Hmm. That's very true. Did it hurt when the intense female friendship during your childhood fell out? What? Oh, like they lost their best friend? Or they lost their friend? Ah. There was a time where you could pick someone to be in your class because classes would be like in random, but they let you pick someone you could be with so you guys could be in the same class together, right? And I was looking for my friend, but then she went and picked someone else and my heart was broken into two. I think it was because we had a fight before that as well. But I still looked for her, okay? <laughs> I still looked for her. I was like, you know what? Even if we did have a fight, whatever, she's still my best friend. And then I had no one to pick, so I just went to pick someone random who also didn't have anyone to pick. <laughs> and then we became really good friends. But far out, that hurt. That did hurt. But we were kids, you know? Kids are petty. You don't understand you're hurting someone's feelings. Thank gosh we're still friends now, though because she's an amazing person. But I just remember that moment, you know? Ugh, oh, ugh, oh, ugh. Oh. Did it hurt when you realized I was nothing like the version of me you created in your head? This hurts. I always do this though, that's the thing. Whenever I meet someone and then I really want to get to know them, right? Or like I'd have like a mini crush on them. And then I'll just be thinking, oh, he's like this, he's like this, and he's like this. And then you get to know them. And they're not like what you created them to be. They're not the rich boy like in the Korean dramas. I'm kidding. But seriously, why? Why you gotta be a bad person? Did it hurt when it felt like the weekend just started and suddenly it's a Sunday night? Did it hurt when you poured your heart out and they gave you the thumbs up emoji? You... Mm. This is the equivalent of typing K. Okay, so I guess now we can't communicate like adults, huh? We're an immature little brat. That's annoying, for sure. Did it hurt when you spent all your pennies on skincare products only for your skin to not care at all? <gasps> I remember spending so much for like a 10 step skincare routine but my skin just didn't do anything. And then someone told me to just reduce my skin products and just keep it like minimal. And now my skin is doing great. I really don't think you need like a 10 step skincare routine. Just wash your face well and experiment with what works for you. Like one at a time, okay? Don't do 10 at a time because you're not gonna know what your skin likes or doesn't like. And I think that was the problem for me when I had acne. Like I didn't know. I just thought if I had a 10 step skincare routine, my skin would just look amazing, you know? Like the glass skin everyone was talking about. But when I broke out, I didn't know what was causing my breakout because I was using so many products at one time and I just didn't know. 
Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.